Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to one of our last episodes of the Site B Rebuild on Isla Sauna. I feel like I might continue this on other maps, we'll have to wait and see. But for today's video we have basically completed all of the speed builds, every island, every section that we wanted to do for, uh, well, this park build. Now what I am building over here is an Avery Dome. The whole reason why is because we are getting in this Avery Dome, hold on, there we go, Gius Nebergia and Ciara Dactylus, which will probably speed up anyways. Now, the reason why we're doing these is because they were found on Isla Sauna, especially this one being in film canon, um, was found on Isla Sauna. So we are basically just going to transport them over to the other hatchery or the other hey, uh, uh, can I speak English? Sorry, I meant the other Avery and uh, all of these Ankylosauruses are coming into here. Why are you doing that? And then hopefully they'll break out over there and they won't continuously just think that they're okay staying in this one. I think we still have Pteranodons in here, we do. So hopefully they will start to break out eventually. And uh, if they don't, we'll release the Ciara Dactylus into here. I don't know, is, is this guy dying or is he just sleeping? I think he's just sleeping for now. <laughs> okay, so fingers crossed these three fly out and then we can release the Ciara Dactylus. And then we'll release the uh, Bergias over here and hopefully that'll give them purpose to fly around here as well. Now, just for the sake of it, I think we might put down some fish feeders. Just because, you know, I, I want the Flying Reptiles to stay around here. And the Spinosaurus also does need to eat. And I, I, I do think there's fish feeder over there. So, yeah, maybe he might congregate back over here, but it seems like the Pachycephalosaurus and the Ankylosaurus are taking over the swamp right now. There's also another fence break. Ah, oh, great. I need to pro I need to probably change something in the settings, don't I? Yeah, I've set, okay, so I've set high escapes on. I think I'm just going to have to keep it for the time being, uh, just so our flying reptiles can fly out. Okay, we'll get the flying reptiles out. Um, it seems like the Pteranodons have actually tried to break out here, which is great. Yeah, that, that, that's amazing. I know I probably wouldn't be saying that any other time, but I think it's amazing. And actually, I believe I'll probably put the Ciara Dactylus in the other enclosures as well. Uh, just because... Hold on. Yeah, people are telling me to transport it outside the Avery. You can't. You have to put it back into another Avery. Uh, but yeah, so we'll probably... The, uh, inaccessible? You're joking. You're joking. No. So, uh, oh my god, so an Avery actually has to be <laughs> compatible and connected. That is uh, very frustrating. Very frustrating. Okay, um, new plan. We just have to hope that they start flying different places rather than congregating over here. Probably should have thought that through, shouldn't I? Well, that's a shame. I guess we'll just have to release these dinosaurs anyways then. Um, and likewise, these Ankylosauruses will probably have to transport and move out anyways. Um... Ideally, probably away from anywhere that they can break out, so we'll just place them over here. I did want them to congregate over here, because this is like the herbivore section, the safe place. But not anymore, according to the Ankylosauruses. I guess what we're just going to have to keep doing is getting our ranger team to repair and fix, um, well, the gates, really. Or the Avery, shall I say, because once it's fixed, they eventually do fly out. So it's not a big, big miss. So we'll get the Sarodactylus. Oh my god, that's a cool skin. Whoa, that's really cool. I like that one a lot. This one's awesome as well. Ooh, that might be my new fly flying reptile favorite. That's brilliant. Okay, and on my phone, I do have a list of dinosaurs that we haven't bred yet, and uh, I do want to get to breed in. Not breeding with, that would have been very weird. Um, <laughs> I do want to produce them into the parks now. And we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Pack of Velociraptors, Corythosaurus, Edmontosaurus, Compsognathus, Jurassic Park 3, Brachiosauruses, and Mementisaurus. Now, I think we should probably start with the biggest ones first. I wouldn't go that way. Uh, please don't go that way. What are you doing? I'm so confused what this guy is doing. He's going to lock himself out. I can guarantee it. I'm going to put a gate just in case. Okay, as I was saying, I think we'll probably be best off uh, producing the sauropods first. So that's what we're going to do. We'll get the modified genome going. Um, there should be a 2001 pattern. There is. And there's also a 1993 pattern. Interesting. How many do we get per batch size? Can we see here? We can't. Uh, okay, two. I think it might be worth getting a 2000, two, two sets, no, one set of 2001 and one set of 1993. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that then. So we'll get 2001 pattern going. And now we'll also get a 1993 pattern going as well. So that way we have four Brachiosauruses. Now, is that the same case with the, um, the Mementisauruses? I've got to check that. We'll go here, Mementisaurus. Scroll down to Mementi. Okay, modified genome. Does it have 2001 pattern? It doesn't. It doesn't. 
May oh, I really wish they would change the model as well. Hmm. Okay, how many do we get per batch? One. Really? One? Ah. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll assign the scientists anyways, I guess. And um, hopefully... Okay, let's speed up time a bit. Geostenberger has an undiagnosed ailment. Which one? You! You, sir! Is it because you're trying to break the glass? Please break the glass. I will commend you for it. Oh, they, they've broken the glass. That was quick. That was very quick. All right, let's repair it. Do we have Geostenberger's outside contamination now? Uh, you've flown out. Uh, we don't. Do we have Sierra Dactylus? Is that Sierra Dactylus? No, it's Pteranodon. No, we, oh, okay, we don't, I guess. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to have to do it this way and... Uh, yeah, look, they're going to break the glass eventually. But I really do hope that eventually they'll fly over there because it's just going to get plain boring. Talk of which, we'll probably want to delete this anyway. So let's get rid of that. And uh, we might have to fill it up with trees again. But who knows? Right. Um, do, 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 the Symphonies batched are done. Uh, no, not Tyrannodon. done. So we'll get another set or another Mementosaurus out. We'll probably won't go overkill with the Mementosaurus. So yeah. So I think firstly, we'll probably want the Brachiosauruses to get on the go. Um, so we'll do fast incubation, fast incubation, and 10 welfare. Get that going as fast as possible. <laughs> that is rapid. I enjoy that a lot. And likewise, we'll select these two. And we will go fast, double fast incubation. And get that done and dusted really quick as well. Now, I don't want the Brachiosauruses over here because I don't think they really have... What was that? Really? Why, why did the Yank... Like, what's with the Ankylosaurus? No other species wants to get in here besides the Ankylosaurus. Why? Do you have any Ankies that aren't... Yeah, look, there's two of it. Three. Any more? No. Okay, four. We have four Ankies that aren't in the human area. Great. Okay, let's repair this as well. So they can eventually fly out a little bit sooner. Okay. Uh, Brachiosauruses are done. We'll release via airlift. And we'll place them, let's go quicker, over here. This is where I, I've spe specialized. Especially. That's what I'm looking for. This is where I've especially placed um, some trees for our Brachiosaurus to enjoy and eat from as well. So that's where we're going to place them. Um, Mementosaurus, probably in a similar place as well. I'm very baffled but that it only requires one. I don't know. It, seemed, it seems a bit weird for me. Um, but we'll wait for them to release via airlift. Look at them go. <laughs> And we'll place them all in that section, I reckon. Okay, this is our second batch of Brachiosaurs as well. We'll just place them around here. And eventually they'll meet up and uh, probably congregate over there as well. I do have Stegosauruses over here as well. Yeah. So it's not like they're the only herbivores. I, li I like the fact that I have uh, Stegosaurs. Okay, um, and I think we've got one last Mementi... Oh my god, all of the flying reptiles. One last Mementosaurus to release via airlift as well. So we'll pop it over here. Should we? Yeah. I was thinking to maybe pop it in the swampy area. No, maybe... Uh, bu, 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 bu. I'll probably place it there anyways. If it finds the other one, it'll go over there. And it'll be fine. They don't need to worry. Um, Ceratosaurus. Oh, hello. Two Ceratosauruses. Hello. <laughs> so this one comes from Isla Sauna. That one comes from Isla Nubla, as we saw in Camp Cretaceous. And this one in Jurassic Park 3. I like how they're, they're chilling. Are they? Yeah, they're in a pack. That's good. Definitely one of my favorite species. I like the medium carnivores in these Site B builds. Oh, wow. We've got a herd, a massive herd of Gallimimus over here. Um, and it's it's just really annoying. Why do they want to hang out around here? I don't get it. Okay, actually, are all of our flying reptiles out? Not quite. Not yet. Not yet. We still have a fair few to go. Um, but they are flying out. They are breaking and they are flying out. So I guess in a way... Wait, was that a status check? I think that was a status check. It was. It was. Let's cancel this. There we go. Just repair the Avery Dome. No, don't do not do us. What's going on? You know what? I'll let it do its own thing. <laughs> um, so when they do repair it, they actually uh, break out again, which is good. So we've only got uh, a few Ciara... Oh, all of the Ciara Dactus. Okay, I don't know what this Tyrannodon's doing. I think it's the same one from earlier. So, yeah. Um, Giustenbergia and uh, Ciara Dactus are the, left, the last ones to fly out. We've got a Giustenbergia over here on the rock. That's a really cool skin, actually. Hold on. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Just the, the just a plain black skin. What what does it have? Oh, okay. So it's basically just a Svalbard colouring and a blank pattern. For some reason, it's so satisfying. It's just really nice. 
Okay, um, any flying reptiles over here yet? No, there's not. But we have the Mementchis down here. Or a Mementchi. In the treetops. Oh, that's awesome. I like that shot. Hold on, can I... I can't. Because oh, of the trees. Why are the trees too strong? Can I go down here, maybe? Okay, that, that's the best view we're going to get, let's say. Um, we have a Mementchi over here. Missing forest? What do you mean, missing forest? You've expanded your territory perfectly fine. And we also have the Brachiosauruses. This one is Jurassic Park 3's Brachiosaurus. We have another Jurassic Park 3 Brachiosaurus here. Uh, we have a 1993 one, so from Jurassic Park. And likewise with this. this. These ones have longer tails, right? I think. This one has a... Yeah, so this one has like a more stubby tail, like a thicker tail. Okay, so we've done two of the species I wanted to get out in this episode. I don't think we'll do carnivores besides Comsignathus, which is the one I'm most excited for. So I think we'll get on to doing Comsignathus first. Um, for Comsignathus, I realise I do actually have to put down meat feeders. Otherwise, they will die out once we start turning on, well, their social and eating needs as well. So we're going to have to think that through. We will modify the genome, obviously, and get them going. Now, we'll probably do random and random. But I do like the idea of having green. We'll see what we can do. We'll actually, you know what? We'll have one whole pack of green ones. So I think it was mangrove and it was rana, I think. Or was it blank? I don't know. I'm panicking now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna modify these ones and hope for the best. So yeah, composting aphids don't really take too much time. The only issue is that I'm probably going to release quite a lot of Comsignathuses, and I really hope that my PC doesn't crash like we had with the Hamalocephalus. Now, also, I do hope they start moving around instead of just hanging out around here. So we'll probably have to transport a fair few as well over there, maybe over there as well. And I think we'll probably transport at least 30 of them. And now we're just doing the random colours for the Comsignathus. So we'll probably let all of this happen, let them incubate. And then once I'm ready, we will join back and cut the video up in my editing software. I don't even know if that made any sense, to be honest. Okay, so we uh, we have Comsignathus now. So we have uh, 10 of 5 batches here. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now, do I want to do 100? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. We might do 100. Um, and now what we are going to do, because I've, I've thought about this to save a bit of time because we're getting into quite a long episode for something that doesn't have a speed build. So what we're going to do is uh, release via airlift. Now, actually, I wanted the green ones to be released via airlift. And then we're going to create the Edmontosaurus and the Carifosaurus as well. So we'll place down loads of compies just randomly everywhere. Just, you know, chilling so that they can eventually find each other, I guess. Um, so yeah, we'll release via airlift. And since that will take a while, that will take up a bit of time. And then that will give us enough time to wait for these guys to also be released via airlift later down the line. However, I do want to release uh, do, 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 the Carifosaurus. There it is. And unfortunately, it doesn't have a pattern. So I think we'll probably just keep it standard. We'll keep it like this for now. Um, we have a batch of six. Hmm, do I want to keep it like that? Tell you what, I think we will. And uh, we won't release all six. So we'll get these guys going. We'll get, yeah, three. We'll get three with the standard pattern. And then three with some random patterns as well. Okay, and I think they are ready for release. Um, however, I don't know if there's too many dinosaurs in this area. I feel like there are. So we'll probably have to transport Carifosaurus over as well, which is probably going to take a while, but not as long as the compies, because it's one by one and there's ten of them per, per batch, shall I say. And it seems like loads of guys are getting into here now. Galleys, trikes, ankies, all of them. The whole squad. Okay, we'll release the, the Carifosauruses uh, one by one then uh, over here, and then we'll probably release the other pack eventually once it is done. Again, uh, Edmontosaurus we still need to do. We won't do many Edmontosauruses. We'll make them random as well because we don't know too much about them. Um, so add them all to be random. And I believe we'll probably only get one or two. How What's the batch size? Five. Yeah, we'll only get one or two. I don't think we'll go overkill with the Edmontosauruses. And the Edmontosaurus is done. So let's release the Edmontosaurus. Move out the way, Ankylosaurus. Oi! Oi! Get out the way! <laughs> what's it doing? <laughs> Move! There we go get to see the Edmontosaurus. A green and yellow boy. Ah. I like it. The Ciara that looks in the background as well. Show me the other one. Show me my other creation. There she is. So we have a green one and a yellow one. I'm chuffed with that. I really like that. 
I think the computer has chosen well. So those are, Ed are Edmontosauruses, they're lonely, they can grow up, you know, many people live lonely their whole lives. And hopefully they start moving around eventually and uh, aren't one of the species who want to go in there. Cough, cough, and Kylosaurus. And I think there's about two more Comsignathuses left to be transported. We'll speed up time a little bit. But because they are being uh, airlifted, we can release other ones. So we'll release the little compies in this area, I think. Is, is, is it going to work? Oh, is it really not going? Oh, okay. So you just line them up to be released. Right. <laughs> I've made a slight mistake with that then. And I believe I might have made uh, extra mistakes as well because the Corythosauruses are only now being transported because the Compsignathuses are finished. Wait, if the comps Compies are finished, does that mean all, all the Compies... They're out! The Compies are out! Ah! Oh, my, oh, oh, wow, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, chill, chill. I can't see you. There you are. You're a little albino one. Cute. Yeah, there are loads of Compies. They're just hopping about. They do run, but these ones are just hopping about at the moment. Um, it might actually be a good idea... You know, this is, this is like the open area where we can see them. Hold on, I think we saw one. I think we saw one. Trying to spot a compi is really difficult, but we spotted one. <laughs> so yeah, they're just going to chill, uh, run around the neighborhood, and um, enjoy their time on Isla Sauna, where they were first made. In fact, I am going to go over here and check if these are the right colored ones I was thinking. Can't see with you in the long grass. You might be? Yeah, you are, I think. I can't see. You're in the long grass. Get out the long grass and then I can see. That'll do. Um, kind of. I guess they are. The Lost World variants. That's fine. That's fine by me. I like it. So we've got compies kind of just hanging out all over the gaff. Anywhere they want, really. In fact, they are missing meat and it makes them uncomfortable. So for the time being, we're just going to place down some meat feeders so that they can at least eat somewhat. And we do have the Corythosauruses here as well. The Jurassic Park 3 Corythosauruses. They are gorgeous creatures, I do like them a lot. So, what I have learned is that it's going to take a lot longer to transport all of these 10 compies. So, I think I'll pro probably do that off screen. Uh, so, in the time bit, oh, hold on. I don't know, they're not all out yet. They will be eventually. So, what we're going to do is probably produce that off screen because this video has taken much longer than I anticipated to do so. I wanted it to be about 10 minutes, not 26 minutes as of the time recording. Um, so, what we're going to do here, we're going to release all of these guys off screen. And then hopefully in the next episode, we should be able to finalize it on part five and have the Rex and the Raptors released. And then for part six, we'll probably just look at the species, go into camera mode, photo mode and watch chaos unfold. Because I assume loads of dinosaurs are going to die, unfortunately. However, for the time being, we'll pretend we're playing as a compi because hopefully we can control the dinosaurs eventually in a future update. But thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, do consider pressing that subscribe button if you haven't yet done so. And also press the like button for more Isla Sauna rebuilds or Site B rebuilds. We might try this on other maps where we don't have to stick to the canon. And who knows, maybe we'll even have some maps where we have Giganotosaurus in them as well. Don't forget to also let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see in future park builds. But in the meantime, and most importantly, make sure you're staying safe out there. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.